Hello and welcome to Real Hi-Fi Help. Let's have a look at Acoustic Plane Sitar Review. So this is an amplifier. I think it's 40 watts, class A. Um, bulk quality kind of okay. You know, uh, I, I still think they, they make uh, amplifiers. I haven't tried other amplifiers than, than this particular model. And I heard it at, you know, I think three different systems just very interesting you know and and kind of like ooh, realizing that you know the, there is a lot of potential <clears throat> in this thing and i just don't really see anyone else covering this gear it's a bit like the uh, abyss sound uh company in, in in poland um just kind of weird so i think it's a german company i'm not really sure the sound is definitely uh German, um, not that it's sterile, but um, I think it's a bit above average. Um, not something that you usually listen to. Um, it was still lush, lively, um, at a medium ish level, very correct and, and linear in sound, but not in a, in a way where it would pose a problem. I feel that with the with an amp like this, you could easily pair it with with older speakers that are more woolly, you know. And there are a lot of speakers like that on the market, subpar speakers. You could also pair this with some some better speakers. I I definitely feel that. Um, just a really interesting uh, amplifier, and you have the box here, and and the amp there, and. I feel that you could easily, uh, if you wanted to, if you could get this like used, I don't know, 2,000 bucks, 3,000 bucks, I don't know, you could have this upgraded <clears throat> and the cable on it and, you know, change all these RCA plugs and possibly the um, speaker terminals. They actually look okay, but I feel that you could, you could really elevate the sound to a much higher level um than what you're hearing of course you could also destroy the sound <laughs> in the process of, of of doing that but um just really interesting you know uh, i was close when, when i borrowed this from my friend i was really close to buying this thinking that ah uh, should i should i really it was just like mm. there wasn't this like you know, sometimes when I when I borrow gear, there's there's like this connection that you feel. You know, a bit like when I had that Ear Eight L Six or my YBA amp or my Macintosh amp. You know, you just have this sort of a connection. And I just, you know, when when I had this, I just didn't really have that connection with with the gear. I still felt that wow, th th this could do stuff. You know, why aren't people talking about this? You know, th th this was pretty okay for the price uh, back then it, it was quite a bit of money i think it was like ten thousand bucks or, or, or so and but nowadays i think they're, they're selling these used for only like two or three thousand dollars but i just thought <clears throat> wow why aren't people mentioning this piece of gear because because this is actually quite interesting and, and, and i think that there is this part of the market where you have people that want to get into tubes but they think that it's too tonally colored there's too much distortion and yada 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 you know and i think this is just a perfect start for those people you know where it's like it's like a compromise sound between transistor sound and like the regular transistor sound and the regular uh tube sound at a mid level you know i just feel that why aren't people talking about this you know and i just feel that i think it's sadly because it's so ugly um if i have to be honest you know i think i think we don't want to admit this as human beings but i think we're pretty vain that just if this had a more sexy front and some watt meters and you know this did a light show or whatever i think this would would easily sell um but <laughs> It's based, it's like looking at, at at a duplo block on on a box with with an extra box and you're like I think a lot of people just don't want that extra box of course you could hide this underneath the table or whatever you put it um, but I just felt that 
you know, here we had some untapped potential, you know. If, you, if you're lucky to get a sort of thing like this used, I believe that, you know, mm, the tubes, if you change those, perhaps if you change the cable, I'm not sure about that. And I'm also not sure about changing these uh, terminals. They actually look pretty decent. They could potentially be CMC gold. I'm not sure. Um, but at least the RCA ports. I know that those RCA ports are like horrible. They have them at a lot of gear in this price range. Th those really kill a lot of audio experiences. Um, let me show you guys. These here, you know. These are like the most regular, normal... Um, RCA ports that are out there and that's one of the reasons why you get this type of German correct sound that isn't fully um, emotionally set free and you know it has the full color full personality and stuff you know that th this this just makes sound very German you know um, and just changing this to CMC gold alone just this alone and then just feeding like a decent power uh cable here and then maybe later changing uh, some tubes i think that alone could make the sound at least two two and a half times better and then i feel that you you would have a standard stock 15 20 000 dollar amp you know that's on the market and then I think that suddenly a lot more people would consider this instead of the usual picks, you know, the usual um, amps out there. So potential, you know, kind of a hidden gem on the market that people aren't really looking for, you know. It, it, just, it just kind of, you know, I had the possibility to buy this and I really wanted to um i can't really remember what happened if i went from this over to the tube guru instead uh, i think i did i just can't really remember but i felt like at least with the tube guru there was more of a personality there was a lot more levels of sound i could tune into where this just had to have a lot more work for me to access the sound but anyway fascinating gear um I feel that people with, with older speakers that are struggling with, with the warmish, not really entirely up there in quality type of speaker, I, I feel that they would benefit a lot from this type of thing. And um, yeah, th those are my uh, considerations. Um, so uh, look out for that if you can. And I think that with the newer gear that they have, the newer models, I'm just guessing, you know, I'm just guessing, but I... I'm guessing that that it's all better than this, but I'm just not sure. And I can't remember if it if this is the Mark One or Two version that that I got. I remember asking the guy, and he said like, "Oh yeah, it, it's it's the top version uh, here." And I was like, "Hmm, yeah." I was pretty close to buying this, so um, and I don't really get. Uh, I can't remember if I tried the rear. But since I can't remember, I'm I'm pretty sure that it isn't really that fantastic. <laughs> but again, once you elevate that sound, once you put a, a decent power cable on it, I think that sound could easily turn from being very correct and, and not fully emotionally involved to a much more nice, lush, um, fully uh, bodied sound. Um... So yeah, look out for that. Look out for that. That's that's really like a hidden gem out there, I would say. So that's me logging off and like and subscribe if you can. Bye.